Hello and welcome. I will show you how to make positional sounds in Unreal Engine, real quick. For this purpose, we're going to do a first person project, desktop console, scalable graphics with starter content. I'm going to call the project positional sound and just create it. Give it a second to load and hit the subscribe button while you wait. Once it has loaded, let's go to blueprints and first person projectile. Double click it and it will load. In here, we have a trigger, which is event hit when there's a collision. If the collision is with an object that has uh, physics, then this is true. And then an impulse will be added. And then the actor, which is a bullet or projectile, will be destroyed. Over here, we get the velocity and the location of a bullet. And this node here scales a vector. All right, so what we want to do is add a sound when the actor gets destroyed, when the bullet gets destroyed. So let's just right click and we can manually go to audio and select spawn sound at location or just enter it. Spawn sound at location. This one we're going to move over here and we're going to trigger it with this, with the add impulse at location and it will trigger the destruction. So the rest of the stuff still continues. We're going to select an asset. Since we have uh, the standard asset pack included, we can just search for explosion. There we go. Let's go for explosion two. And already we can test it. If we go to the game and play, we can hear it. However, it is not positional at all. No matter the distance, it sounds the same. Let's hit escape to get out of here and let's create a new asset. Right click in here and go to Sounds and select Sound Attenuation. Let's call it First Person Projectile Attenuation. And this one defines uh, how sound changes over distance. So let's go back to this. And uh, actually, the location was uh, 0, 0, 0. We can change that and get the location of the actor. Drag it over here. But this is not enough. It's still the same volume. So what we need to do is to open this up and get attenuation settings. Here we can just pick from the drop down menu first person projectile attenuation. Let's just try this once more. And as you can see it works. We can barely he hear this one. We cannot hear that one at all. This one is loud, this one is louder, this one is loudest. So what we can do is modify this. If we double click the first person projectile attenuation, we can change it to, for example, natural sound, which uh, sounds great. I mean, the title of it sounds great, but in game it sounds pretty bad. Let's try it out. It just seems wrong. It does seem wrong. Actually, you know what, let's just disable the shot sound that's getting annoying. We're just going to disable the sound of shooting. Much better. So what do we do about the attenuation weirdness, which probably is realistic, but really feels bad in a video game context? Well, we're just going to change this number from minus 60 to minus 24. So this is good for a loud explosion, which we want to hear from everywhere. That might be okay. We might also want to change the fall off distance. Maybe increase it by about 3. 2.5, I guess. And now we also maybe just want to change this to minus 48. Seems more reasonable. We might actually want to go back to 60 even. Minus 60. So 
So these are the things you can do to play around with uh, how far you can hear a sound. So this is for impact sounds of a bullet. Now let's add positional sound to objects that stand around and we move towards them. And of course, if they move around, it will be the same effect. All right, let's just take this block and add some audio to it. In modes, we're just going to look for ambient. We're just going to drag it onto the box and uh, we're just going to parent it to the box. This one is here. F2 to call it sound box and ambient sound will be inside of it. So if this moves, the sound moves. Now let's select a sound, for example, fire. If we try it now, it's uh, always ever present, not too good. And select it again. And of course, use attenuation. And let's just pick the one we created. Let's see how that feels. Here it is, and we can hear the fire. If we walk away, it gets quieter. Yeah, this is pretty good. But of course, we can just create a copy of this first person projectile attenuation, Control W, for example, and let's call it Fire Attenuation. And uh, we can modify it again. Maybe make it uh, logarithmic. Let's see how that feels. And of course, change the ambient sounds attenuation. And try it out. Similar effect, a bit louder. And quite loud when you're close to it. So that's how you do it. Positional audio. I really hope this helped because I was quite confused when it came to being able to uh, add the location from get actor location, but it didn't do anything. I mean, logically it should be enough, right? But no, you need to have an attenuation object. And with that, it works perfectly. If you like this tiny tutorial, please share it and uh, give it a like so I know what kind of videos I should make more of. Hopefully you will not need to see any more tutorials, but uh, if you do, see you next time. Ciao!